Are you looking to up your game in the bedroom? Introducing Popstar for bigger loads and better taste. Use code Holly for an extra 20% off of your auto ship order. Go to popstarlabs.com slash Holly or search for Popstar pills on Amazon. Let's talk about how you got into because you got into like as soon as you turned 18, as right? As quickly as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I waited till like we graduated high school for sure. But I, I my birthday's in March, so it wasn't too long after my mm-hmm. birthday. And my best friend at the time, she called me and she was like, do you remember how we're always talking about stripping and how crazy it is? But like we would totally do it. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's like, hey, do you, can I come pick you up and we go audition? And I was like, yes, come now. So I climbed out of my bedroom window <laughs> Because your parents are pretty strict with you, they're right? They're so strict. Like, there's no going outside unless it's for school. Mm-hmm. And that's pretty much it. Like, mm-hmm. no hanging out with friends. So I climbed out the window, second story. I had a, I had a system at the time, which now seems crazy. But um, I left and we went to the strip club. And the first club said no because she was with me. She's white mm-hmm. and I'm black. But we didn't see that at the time, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, that's just my best friend. And the manager told her, like, if you come back without your friend, you got the job. <clears throat> oh, no. And she was like, well, fuck you. Wow. <laughs> she loved me. So we went to another club and I we got hired. And it was so surreal. Like, I wasn't even sure what I was doing, but I was like, yeah. But you loved dance. I so loved you knew to how dance. to dance and move yep. your body. And we were both on, like, the dance team. So we, we knew we were hot. We just mm-hmm. didn't know how to use it mm-hmm. quite yet. So we went to a sex shop and we got stripper heels <laughs> and pasties. Oh my god! And I just stood in my bed, like my bedroom, and I looked at myself in the heels with no shirt on and just underwear. And I was like, "What the hell? What am I doing? Mm-hmm. This is so crazy." I felt weird. I was like, "Am I fat? Am I hot? Am I not hot?" Because I was a virgin. So I was yeah. like, "How am I going to seduce anyone? I've never yeah. had sex. Like, they're going to see right through me." <laughs> so I was like, "You know what? Screw it. You learn." on the job you just go figure it out Mm -hmm. and um we got there and it was my turn to dance on stage so your friend went first yeah she went first how'd she do she did okay i mean it was still awkward yeah (laughs) i was like i can outdo her i think so i get on stage and there's a pole but it's a spinning pole Uh uh-huh i had never heard of a spinning pole in my life so it's not it's not secure so you get it and you think it's gonna i was like like, stay it's gonna be a still pole yeah I walk up there, I'm all sexy, and I'm like, okay, here we go. And I grab it, <laughs> and I try to lean into it, but, like, my momentum kind of swung me oh, forward. No. <laughs> and then I fell into this man. Oh, no. <laughs> and this table was right there, so I just hear, like, <sighs> and I'm tall. So you just hear heels. I see my foot flying. Oh. And this man's, like, oh, petrified. He's like, oh, my God. And then I was, like, as long this as I don't. This is, like, within five seconds of me being on five stage Five seconds. For the first time. I just got there. I was, my name was Jasmine or something dumb. <laughs> and I was, like, here I go. Here's Jasmine. And Jasmine fell on this man. And the whole day I was, like, as long as I don't fall off the stage, no one's going to know. And I fell off immediately because I thought about it too much, you know. You kind of manifest your, your future when you over. Yeah, oh, my God. Absolutely. Uh, so this very nice man was like, is it your first time, sweetie? And I was like, ew, no. <laughs> I was like, fudge, there goes the whole thing. And I was shaking, like my hands were shaking. And he gave me all the ones that he had. He was like, good effort. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. After that, I was like, okay. I tried. I fell. It's done. Now, I, it can't get any worse. Yeah, yeah. So it definitely got better. <laughs> Oh but my yeah, goodness! That was a crazy day. <laughs> so then, tell us, like, so did you start stripping regularly? Like, how yeah. did that go? So when I went home, I like was counting all my money, like under my bed sheet with a flashlight. I was like, "Wow! Oh my god, I'm rich! I have a hundred and forty dollars!" Like the description that you've given me so far, it's literally straight out of a movie. <laughs> like, girl goes up on stage, movie. unstable pole, falls yeah. into a table. Uh, gets all this money, counts it <laughs> under the bed sheets with a flashlight. Literally, like, movie. I was living. And I called my little sister into my room. I was like, come see. She was like, you're crazy. I was like, look at all this money. It was like $140. But at the time, it felt like a million dollars. Yeah. I was like, they wow. They the candy bars that could buy. I know. I was like, we're going to be rich. We need so much candy. <laughs> and she was my little partner in crime. So, like, when I would sneak out, she would, like, keep the window open, like, make sure I get down safely. And then she would shut it. And she'd be like, be careful. And I was like, oh. I gotta get back for my little sister. <laughs> she loves me so much. Oh, 
but she was always like looking out for me like one time i asked her to go downstairs and like break a plate and like cause a distraction in the kitchen so i can go through the front door and she did and i could hear my dad back there like what's going on in here oh my god and i was like bless her heart oh, she's so sweet so Aww. i like ran out the front door and i just i always bought her whatever she wanted with all my money and be like i got you that victoria's secret bag <laughs> got you <laughs> and then after a while I went to college and when I was in college I just was out in the country it was really boring and you can only country dance so many times before mm-hmm. you're like I miss the city I miss the strip club and I would go back every now and again and mm-hmm. get a hotel with like my college mates and they would stay in the room one of them would do homework and the other one would go see her boyfriend and I would go to the strip club and then we'd all meet back up at the motel. Oh my god. <laughs> and go back to school and it was a terrible little secret. And sometimes we'd be like on the road to back to school and we'd stop at like a hotel. And it was my idea to bring all our luggage in and get free breakfast because we were kind of poor. <laughs> so we'd just come into a random hotel with all our luggage and be like, oh wow, yummy breakfast for us that have been staying here at all. And we'd just hit the road again it just felt you like you probably never got stopped no nope, they yeah. never stopped us they're like you want more waffles i'm like yes please <laughs> even though i was not there <laughs> yeah so i had a really good time and when i went back to school i mean i failed all my classes because mm-hmm. i was having a really good time it's really hard to pass now you were a virgin in college right i was and your friends made fun of you for that. They did. They were all like, we're going to go get some dick. Like, uh, and I'm like, that sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I could do that. And they're like, you're a stripper. You should have all the dicks, you know? And I was like, no, I'm scared. Also, uh, mm-hmm. what if, ugh. But then after a while of being at school and getting bullied, I was like, you know what? I mean, some girls came into my room and they were just like, what the hell is your problem, man? There's <laughs> so many boys on campus. So I just... One day coming back to my dorm, I saw this guy and he was standing by my door to get into the building and he was talking with another dude and I was like, he looks cuter than the other one, so I'm just gonna bang that one. And my friends were like, he's, what? You don't even know him. And I was like, I don't care. So I talked to him for a minute and I was like, do you wanna have sex with me? And he was like, what? (laughs) It's like every man's dream. Yeah, he was like, I don't know what's happening. That's how it happens, right? Right? He was like, you're lying. (laughs) He totally thought I was full of shit. And I was like, just, I'm in this dorm, so come with me now. We're gonna do it now. <laughs> and he was like, okay. <laughs> so I had bought a box of Magnum condoms, like the biggest one that rubbers. they have. Yeah, the rubbers, <laughs> not the erasers. The Well, they kind of erase, if we're being honest. Yeah. <laughs> and so <laughs> I opened the condoms and I remember just being so nervous. I was like, he's gonna know I'm a virgin. Like, there's no way. Cause I didn't want to tell him in case he's like, oh, you're weird. I want to have sex with a porn star. Cause that's what I thought in my head. like. Boys don't like virgins. They've never had sex. Why would you have sex with someone who doesn't know what they're doing? That's not the case. And boys who like virgins, that's there's something nefarious about that. Right? You know what I mean? Like like, somebody wanting someone who's like inexperienced. Yeah, I'm like, why do you want to take advantage of me? (laughs) Yeah, it's a little weird. It's a little strange. Yeah. So I ripped the condom off. I was trying to be like as knowledgeable and sexy as possible. And it was really uneventful. It was okay. I was like, I'm not going to do this again with you, but thanks for opening that door. Now I'm free. I'm sexually liberated. But I did not come at all. I was like, I have a better time on my own, but (laughs) good effort. Well, it's, I mean, I don't know how it was for you, but I mean, for me, it was painful. It was so painful. Like, that condom was rough. I was like, ugh. Yeah. Especially with a condom. Yeah. Did you tell him afterwards that you were a virgin? I did. And he was was like, no. I don't want you to fall in love with me or anything. I was like, ew. (laughs) Get over yourself. Get over yourself, buddy. Like, I didn't even come. So I'm, I think I can get past this one. (laughs) (laughs) Don't fall in love with me. I didn't make you come and you had a terrible time, but I'm a man with a penis. You've never had sex before. So So obviously you're going to be attached to me. You're going to love me. Yeah. You're going to follow me around like a puppy. I was like, I'm going to try this with lots of boys. Think so. Hello, my amazing listeners. You know how much I love bringing this podcast to your ears every week. So if you're looking a way to support the show and get some fantastic perks, I've got just the thing, my Patreon page. With plans starting at just $5 a month, you can be part of our exclusive community. Your support not only helps to keep this podcast going, but it also unlocks some really cool bonuses. Imagine getting access to the live streams of my interviews as they happen. 
You'll be right in the middle of the action, seeing all of the unedited moments. But that's not all. As a Patreon member, you'll also get exclusive bonus content. I'm talking extra mini episodes where our guests answer questions submitted by you. Plus, you'll have access to my fine art photography and behind the scenes videos, giving you a sneak peek into my creative process. And guess what? If you opt for a discounted year-long membership, you'll save even more while supporting the show. Longtime subscribers even get free HRU merchandise as a token of my gratitude. So want to join us? Head over to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered and become a part of our growing community. Your support means the world to me. Let's make this podcast even better. Are you looking to up your game in the bedroom? Introducing Popstar for bigger loads and better taste. The only doctor developed organic, high quality and made in the USA volume and taste enhancer. With hundreds of five-star reviews, you will definitely be satisfied or it's free with their money back guarantee. Use code Holly for an extra 20% off of your auto ship order. Go to popstarlabs.com slash Holly or search for Popstar Pills on Amazon.